Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Doppler effect. Okay, I've written down the formula already. It's the frequency of the observer is equal to velocity of the sound plus or minus velocity of the observer over velocity of the sound plus or minus velocity of the source times the frequency of the source. Okay, and before I jump into the topic though, let me show you real quick that um, we're comp let's, let's compare these two fractions, one half and one fourth. Okay, well now what is the decimal value of this guy? It's 0 0.5. What is the decimal value of this guy? It's 0 0.25 right now uh, which one of them is closer to the zero on the number line this guy is closer to the zero on the number line that means this is smaller than 0.5 right 0.25 is smaller than 0.5 now if you notice whenever you have a bigger number on the bottom its overall value of the fraction is going to be small okay let's keep that in mind uh, and uh, we'll use this fact in order to determine whether to add here or to subtract here or to subtract here or add here okay um, you know, it'll be a lot easier if you first determine if the objects are moving closer to each other or they're uh, going away from each other. Okay, let's see. For example, this is uh, the source of the sound. Okay, and this is the uh, observer. All right. Now, uh, see. For example, both of these guys are uh, coming closer to each other. Now, what do you know when they're coming closer to each other? That means the frequency, the observed frequency, is going to be bigger. Right. Now, uh, how do you make this guy bigger? Well, you make this guy bigger if you have a bigger top or if you have a smaller bottom, okay? Now, um, and then obviously if you want to make the numerator bigger, right, what do you do? You, you, do you add or do you subtract? You obviously add the numerator, and if you want to make the, uh, the bottom small, right, you want to subtract the denominator. And all of that will be times frequency of the source. That's all there is to it. You know, all you have to do, know is determine, uh, all you have to determine is whether, to, whether the objects, whether the source and the observer are coming closer to each other or they're going away from each other okay and now say for example they're going away from each other right this is the source it's going this way and this is the observer going that way okay now obviously this the frequency observed is going to be smaller than the actual frequency of the sound okay so how do you make this guy small well if you want to make the overall fraction small what do you know you make the bottom big right so how do you make the bottom big you add the denominator and at the same time you subtract the numerator now in some cases either this guy will be stationary or this guy will be stationary right so either v not or vs or uh, velocity of the observer or velocity of the well, of the source will be zero but even if it isn't you know when to add or not, or when to subtract you know if they're uh, coming closer to each other add these guys and subtract these guys when they're going away from each other uh, subtract these guys and add this guy that's all there is to it all you have to know is determine whether the objects are coming closer to each other or they're going away from each other. I hope that was helpful.